hi viewers i am jannat sharin assistant professor pg department of microbiology from ekandan development center majlis arts and science college today i would like to introduce a new relevant topic in agricultural microbiology that is angular leaf spot of cotton it is a plant disease caused by bacteria let's start our topic plant disease plant disease is usually defined as the abnormal growth or dysfunction of the plant diseases are the result of some disturbances in the normal life process of the plant plant diseases are classified into two types biotic disease and abiotic disease biotic diseases are caused by living organisms like bacteria virus and fungus abiotic diseases are the diseases caused by non living things like wind air and water most of the diseases are caused by living things that is microorganism plant diseases are identified by both common name and scientific name the scientific name identifies both the genus and species of the disease causing agent the pathogens involved in the plant disease are classified into two types first one biotrophic pathogen second one necrotrophic pathogens biotrophic pathogens are the pathogens that derive nutrients from the living host tissue second one necrotrophic pathogens these are the pathogens that derive nutrients from the dead or dying cells viruses in generally need living host tissue for their nutrition but both necrotrophic and biotrophic strategies can be found among the bacteria and fungi some of the examples for the biotic diseases are given here bacterial diseases are angular leaf spot of the cotton bacterial cankers of citrus bacterial blight of the rice and crown gall disease and the fungal diseases include red rot of the sugar cane wilt of the tomato wilt of the cotton and early blight of the potato then the viral disease include tomato yellow leaf curl papaya ring spot disease and banana bungee top disease next we can move to the cotton plant it is an important fiber crop it is a natural fiber and the cotton plant covers about 10 million hectares in india its annual production is about 5 million tons it is roughly estimated that the losses due to the diseases of the cotton are about 200 millions per year the cotton plant is about 1.2 meter in height and the plant is closely related to the hibiscus species plant there are up to 52 species of the cotton in the gossypium species there are several branches in this plant and the branches are connected with a central main stem the cotton plant leaves are broad head shaped coarse veins with 3 to 5 lobes the tap root of the cotton plant is about 1.5 meters in depth cotton plant contains balls and the balls consist of about 27 to 45 seeds next we can move to the angular leaf spot of the cotton it is one of the severe disease of the cotton plant affected almost every cotton growing countries of the world this disease is also called black gum or bacterial blight of the cotton blight means rapid browning of the tissue or rapid death of the plant The disease is caused by Sandomonas malvaserum. It is a gram-negative motile organism. 
and it consists of a single polar flagellum. Sandamonas malveserum is coming under the class gamma proteobacteria and it is coming under the phylum proteobacteria and family Sandomonadaceae and genus Sandomonas. Next is the symptoms of the angular leaf spot of the cotton. Once the organism has endured inside the root tissue, it is going to affect all the parts of the plant. That is, the infection occurs in plant root, stem, leaves, balls of the cotton, branches and all other parts of the plant. The initially, the leaf will show small round water soaked lesions and these lesions are appeared upper underside of the leaf. Okay. Initially, these lesions are light green in color and it matures to form a dark brown color. As the disease progresses or the infection progresses, the lesions become angular in shape. That is why it is called as the angular leaf spot of the cotton. You can see this in this figure. The angular leaf spots are shown in this figure and the angular leaf spots are water soaked lesions. These lesions are of different sizes. An enlarged view of the angular leaf spot is given in this picture. Here an area of the ring is formed around this spot. Okay, that area is called halo. Next, black streaks are formed along the veins. These black streaks are formed due to the systemic infection. This infection spread along the veins causing vein blight symptom. The infection from the leaves may also spread into the stem. The twigs may get infected with the dark brown lesions which enlarges to form black dry twigs. The twigs contains defoliated branches. The angular leaf spot may be few in number in some varieties of plant. Some resistant varieties of the plant but in some susceptible host it covers most of the parts of the plant okay this is followed by chlorosis necrosis and distortion of the lamina the bacterium may also get infect with the cotton ball causing the formation of water soaked lesions on the cotton ball and it causes the discoloration of the tissue inside. The bowl size is reduced and the seeds formed are also reduced. Sometimes the seeds are destroyed. The infected seed may fail to germinate or if they germinate that uh, seedlings may wilt after the germination. Next is the disease cycle. The organism Sandomonas transmitted through the dispersal of plant debris in water, rain and wind. Then the organism invert the susceptible host tissue. It invert the, uh, via the root and wounds present in the leaf. Then the organism causes the infection on the leaf and vascular tissue. It causes the development of the water soaked lesions in the V shaped manner. And also the disease progress results in the formation of black ring in the stem. And also it causes the xylem decay. This will lead to the systemic infection of the plant. Systemic infection means the infection occurs in the all parts of the plant. Okay, so the infected seed 
give rise to the infected seedling. The infected seedling are the chief source of the primary infection. Okay. So, the infected seedling again continues this cycle. Finally, we can discuss the control measures. Some of the control measures are given here and that are field sanitization, remove and destroy the infected plant debris, crop rotation, deep fluffing, then addition of potash to the soil, then treatment of seed with carboxin etc. I hope you got an idea about angular leaf spot of the cotton. Thank you.